Some modelers marry well. Well, hello, Blue Troopers, and welcome back to Max's Models. Uh, I'm down here in Orlando. I have to go to work at Odark 30 in the morning, so I'm here in a hotel room, but luckily this is the weekend of Model Palooza, so I hopped over near Celebration, Florida, where they hold it, and uh, I bumped into four or five Blue Troopers, bumped into Trey right off the bat of Trey's models, and a gentleman named Mike, whom I didn't get a picture of, and then uh, another Mike, <laughs> and uh, a Chris, and a, and a bunch of others, and uh, uh, just really spent most of my time just admiring models and chatting with all the people. Four, five, maybe six people recognized me in the channel, walked up and talked to me. So, hey guys, I appreciate that immensely. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. Uh, so, in the model category, again, you'll probably never see one of my models in these tables because these builds were just fantastic. And uh, Trey had brought his Gotha and his Tiger Tank and that uh, anti-aircraft half-track he just built, as, as well as that uh, what, he, what he did for the Ukrainian build, that uh, missile system. And I think that's the Buck missile, but anyway. Uh, they had plenty of aircraft and armor, uh, plenty of cars, including a, a world-class build, and they uh, had a good representation of characters and figures, I didn't see any kaiju, I don't believe, other than one or two little things. I mean, there was a Godzilla on a table with a vendor, but, and it was a bunch of Star Trek models. And I'm telling you, Godzilla and Star Trek, that's a movie I'd pay to see. So, uh, anyway, uh, of course, the sci-fi table had a lot of really cool stuff on it. And uh, there was some, uh, I guess you'd call it anime and uh, Gundam and, uh, <laughs> and Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, some scratch work, some kit, uh, some kit bashes, just a little bit of everything. Uh, a lot of vendors, about half of it was vendors, about half of it was models on display. Actually, more than half was vendors, and they had just all kinds of cool stuff. I didn't realize until I left, and Mrs. Max's model said, well, what did you get me? And I was like, I didn't buy anything. Oh, my God, I was having such a good time chatting with people. And, uh, <laughs> and Steve Iverson now has this... Uh, uh, female character from the movie The Silent Earth to go with the Metal Luna uh, mutant. So uh, that scales out. And uh, I probably should have grabbed that now that I think about it. <laughs> Good move, Max. There was so much cool stuff there that I was like, oh, man. And if, if only Steve of Steve's Model Mania was here, but he was at a car show looking at real cars. And uh, But uh, it would have been cool if Ken could have been there. I think he'd have gotten a kick out of it. Just tons of everything. Just, just Model Palooza. Now I've only gone to a few of these things. I've gone to this is my second Model Palooza, and I've gone to a Jack's Con one time. I was working during Pam's Con and couldn't make it. But I just really I love the whole vibe, the people, the uh, the the atmosphere. It's just very friendly. I mean, everybody of course has put out these magnificent works, which uh, in no way makes me feel humble and inferior. <laughs> I tell people just because I run a website about model building doesn't mean I actually know how to do this kind of work. So uh, again, just, uh, you, you know, I, the only thing I'd recommend they might want to do, and it probably wouldn't work out, but some of these master modelers, like if you win, like the best in class or whatever, you should be made to sit behind a table and show everybody your build technique. <laughs> I'm just, of course, I'm kidding. I'm not. Uh, so, uh, just magnificent work. Had a great time. So, instead of prattling on a bunch more, despite the wonderful, buttery smooth sound of my silky sweet voice, uh, I'm just going to play some outro music here and show you the videos. If I had to pick personally, just real quick, uh, I really couldn't pick a favorite. But I was quite enamored with that uh, fully lighted uh, Enterprise. And uh, one thing that did surprise me, a lot of the people didn't put down who made the model, like it was an Airfix or Tamiya. Some of them you recognized the kit and some of them it didn't. So I kept asking people that. That wasn't on a lot of the cards. Um, some of the stuff that was there, I just didn't recognize. But it was really cool to, to see three generations of uh, a family who all build models with stuff on the table each of them had something on the table and uh and and people there with their children there turns out their kids are got their kids in the building and one of them was uh, saying that well he builds gundam and like gundam 
perfect gateway drug to building regular scale models. <laughs> so guys, take care of yourselves. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. And as always, model on.
Uh, well, uh, that's all, folks. Model on.